Hello beautiful earth angels, light warriors, multi-dimensional beings, incarnated, welcome back or hello if you're new to another channel reading a message for you beautiful souls. I think it might have been in the last reading or the one before but we started going into through the channel message that we got into this concept and message about you being and being referred to and being called the mirror bearer or a bearer of mirrors and we never got to fully finish the loots off so and there was actually a lot of important information for you guys in that so that is what this reading is about today is how you seem to be incarnated in this energetic role of being able to be this bearer of mirrors or the mirror bearer so you have this role that you're energetically playing out uh, consciously and subconsciously within the collective throughout your lifetime as you are energetically connected to being this mirror bearer in a way that your energy contains these energy packages of stored energy that create these kind of immersive experiences. You guys have immersive experiences in the astral planes. When you go on these thought reflections, like we said in the last reading, um, this mirror bearer role of yours is all connected to reflections um, and reflections being that thinking that thought trails and travels those gentle thought reflections that your mind and awareness is bubbling through on the daily you guys you guys are always getting led down these trails or paths of reflection and these trails and paths of reflection are by no means random at all you are given frequencies by your guides and these frequencies are like a gateways for you to pop up in the astral and you go on trails of thought from those frequencies and so all these reflections you've had over time are like stored packages of energy of understanding they're immersive experiences for you because you are immersed in your own inner realm a lot of the time in these inner reflections and when you're immersed in these inner reflections you're traveling through these connected pathways of thought and information and understanding and realization and every time you go on these mini reflections they create this package of energy that spirit is referring to as a mirror these packages of energy you hold stored inside yourself and these can be triggered up by certain things you see that remind you of it this is all stored information for you and when you're in certain places or situations or with people your spirit guides activate certain energies that trigger you to go or bring up or pull up some of this stored information and you start channeling it to people now again this can be in many different ways sometimes this is literally in passing conversation or when you're just catching up with a friend or maybe you're at work and there's not much going on and you start going on just having these like mundane conversations some of these times where you're uh handing people these packages or these gateways to be able to walk through that same immersive experience you've been on these come up randomly or some of you could even create content or be writers or speakers or creators but there's something very significant about the reflections that you specifically receive and how all of these reflections mini or big sometimes reflections of these mini um experiences of concepts or understanding can link together sometimes they can stand alone and ultimately what they're doing is bringing a deeper level of understanding um, or meaning behind the surface level of concepts words meaning things like this so you hold a lot of stored information pathways within the astral space and this is not just within the astral space this is within the subconscious mind when you're on these thought reflections these daydreams whatever this is you're entering brainwave states like theta brain waves or lower brainwave frequencies that are in a very relaxed state of mind when your mind is relaxed you're very receptive and when your mind is relaxed and you're going on these thought travels you are creating these kind of pathways right almost like if as if you're going on a hike and there's different trails you can take you have these different trails that you go on 
and sometimes there's new ones sometimes there's like similar ones sometimes there's the same but they're expanding these trails are really pathways within your brain and when you're in these reflections again being in this relaxed state of mind you're actually a lot of the time bubbling through trails of thought in the subconscious the subconscious mind and this isn't just the subconscious or the mind or whatever this is you're actually having access to the collective subconscious space you're having access to the collective conscious and subconscious within yourself you guys are a gateway and a portal in yourself to the subconscious mind and speaking to you allows others to have a glimpse into the subconscious of themselves or the collective um, speaking and connecting with you actually allows others to reconnect to their subconscious through you. We are all just like mirrors here incarnated and this is something you understand and I think you use others to peer into yourself by peering deep within them to learn about your own subconscious and mind through uh, other people because you understand we're all mirrors but this is the same the other way around you are showing up as this very powerful mirror of reflection to others that is almost an open doorway or a chance or a gateway or an opportunity for them to look deeper into their subconscious through entering yours because when you're on these very relaxed thought trails or bubbling um uh pathways a thought reflection you are opening up your astral space to those who you are opening up those thought travels with perspectives information concepts reflections and so again this information coming through is being highlighted by your spirit guides but it also could be coming through um as an energy that's like currently being created or happening in a sense that someone could have been realizing this recently or you could have had conversations uh specifically with particular people that you should be aware that you are actually doing divine work all the time because you just naturally being you and the way your mind is naturally bubbling through thought that you're sharing is you're actually bubbling through the collective subconscious and so what you share is actually synchronistic and divinely channeled and none of them are random and when I said earlier your guides are activating certain frequencies when you're around people that trigger these like thought reflections to be spoken they're not random at all this is in a lot of ways how you channel and this can go unnoticed or be noticed um, but sometimes they're things that seem very mundane or irrelevant or random to you or just like you know I don't know in passing conversation but these things are all very divinely channeled and um, synchronistic for others subconscious so they might not always tell you the relevance of certain things but it's like it unlocks deeper aspects of reflection within themselves so you're like channeling a lot of the time without realizing and to get back into the message to structure it properly because we always always do this we just go off on it and start tying the loops together but we're going to work through this through the actual information of the reading um but in general yeah you are this mirror bearer um giving others access so again this could be through friendships or conversations in passing but some of you this is through something like some of you are tarot readers or you do readings for your friends and family or for yourself and you are really having this heightened access to the subconscious which is very very important and helpful because the subconscious is something not everyone is actually having access to but that we're on a journey of reconnecting to and recreating that connection to have access to so you help others connect to their subconscious again through being connected to yours yourself and almost opening up your astral space and walking others through it through you going on certain conversations or trails of thoughts of reflection because these thoughts of reflection are stored packages of energy the spirit is calling these packages of mirrors that you have and when they're activated start trailing out through you and they're almost used as reflections for other people's subconsciouses or so they have access to the astral in that way as well um this also can be unrelated to 
other people in a sense that this is a very personal thing that you go on as well is that this is a part of your personal spiritual journey is that you're always entering these states of daydream or reflection and again it's not random what bubbles of thought you're going about going down and upon they're actually very synchronistically tied in to maybe your current situation in ways that when we deeper reflect we start connecting or to situations yet to come so sometimes you're getting a thought travels of reflection that are placed to enter by your guides that are showing you the deeper understanding behind certain energies before you enter a spiritual cycle connected to that energy so um, the things that you're thinking about, even when they seem just so, um, just like effortless or like you're not meaning to, you're just in daydream, you're just in reflection, these things are very highly actually relevant and synchronistic and can pertain to energies that are actually being brought up in the collective as well. Because when you guys are doing a lot of subconscious work, like we say, you're also entering the collective subconscious. And so the things that you're working on and through within yourself, you're also going to see that in people around you maybe too, or this is something that's happened is that you start noticing these things coming up in other people um, because it's like we move through these energies collectively sometimes. And so as you work through your subconscious and things that are just coming up within your mind, you may start to notice people you speak to, things like this, it's actually relevant and there could be situations correlated to activating that energy inside of them. And you guys can also see the correlation. It's almost as if you can see other people's spirit guides active in their life, creating and manifesting certain situations to reflect back to them so that they can deeper heal and see themselves through their subconscious light and find out more about themselves maybe they're not always connecting the dots it's like you can always see um other people's cycles within their reality and you almost in this way too maybe a point coming up is that you help to bring that correlation to others as well um because you're like oh that's kind of like this situation or when this happened to me it was such a reflection of like all this childhood stuff that i was holding like you have golden keys that seem to be very relevant for people around you and you seem to have synchronistic divine aligned conversations with people even if you don't get that confirmation back again this is in person one-to-one -one, personally or this can be online for some of you or again like we say doing certain readings or certain art that you create or speakings that you do or writing that you do um something or other like that you're holding a lot of information inside of you that is very very beneficial so let's see so when we talk about you being the mirror bearer with all these different mirror packages of energy these are condensed brief experiences held within these uh thought reflections that you've had that get closed off and stored in as packages of energy so um, you've collected a lot of these and have more than we could even fathom, count or describe because you are constantly downloading and connecting information. You're constantly uh, creating new brain pathways inside the subconscious a lot and all of the time. Whether this is at night time before you go to sleep, whether this is, you know, in between sleep and wake, whether this is through your day to day in general, when you meditate, you're always actually activating and creating new thought connections and thought pathways within your mind and brain which is actually you mapping out and exploring more of the astral and the subconscious realms so you guys have actually traveled a lot in the astral space and the mind and the subconscious mind and the astral realms right the quantum realms you have actually activated and moved through a lot of the map of it because you're constantly in so many travels of thought outside of your physical situations and reality um, and from this like larger wider broader perspective of concepts and understanding of reality and life so you've collected all these so this actually allows someone to experience or be mentally immersed into other dimensional states of consciousness or frequency as you channel them through you Okay, like this can run through and out of you, like your own bubbling thought realization journey spoken and experienced out loud that connects a new way of seeing and understanding from a new frequency. 
because this is spoken aloud realizations or observations that lead to realizations down the trail even if this is like you okay for example you go to get a coffee with someone what catches your eye is actually relevant and synchronistic and we said this in our last reading when you walk in a room the things that catch your eye are actually the things that are most energetically charged they're almost highlighted by spirit and they're highlighted because there's a relevance beyond the surface that's deeper and so when these things catch your eye you seem to bring them up or you'll be like oh that's weird you know this thing and point to that and then it's like after you say that it's like uh you get zoned back or drawn out a bit and it's like Hmm, you start connecting pieces of information together. And if you speak out those connections out loud, you're actually almost breaking down reality and channeling very synchronistic information, not only for yourself, but those around you. Because everything in reality is divinatable. Everything is for a reason and synchronistic and a, a correlation and reflection of the vibrational energy that we're currently inhabiting and holding within our minds, bodies and energy, aura, subconscious so when you're drawn to these things that seem prevalent or energetically highlighted, they just catch your eye or you just end up staring at them or there's just something that feels significant about certain things. Um, like again, like it can be intrigue or we're not really sure why something's catching our eye, but then it turns up being into this like reflectional thought trail that creates like certain connections of information, understanding, clarity or energy, things like this. And um yeah so when when i said earlier sometimes you don't realize it's because sometimes these things seem very irrelevant or mundane but because sometimes they might not actually always have relevance to you but you just feel significance around them because it could be related to the person you're actually with or the group of people you're with or someone there and again this is all happening subconsciously so it's like you're reflecting back subconscious energies beneath the surface that seem uh, when spoken out loud sometimes like they're just um passing conversation but they're actually very synchronistic um so yeah spoken aloud realizations so of thought as you move through these trails of thought you also take that person with you too when you're in conversation with someone you're actually not just speaking you're speaking from a certain place where you're sitting in the astral you're not just speaking information or conversation you're almost pulling from a certain place that you're sitting energetically in your feeling space mind space or astral space and so when you are in a conversation and you're pulling from a space and you're moving through the astral speaking that you are allowing an open access to your astral space for someone to move through those same frequencies and thought connections because like how this was coming through about these thought connections again is really that you're accessing a frequency in the astral that you're about to enter a train of thought down or a conversation down or a reflection down and that reflectional movement down is almost created by connecting points of information or thought thoughts that connect together these thoughts that connect together or lead to one another are almost like checkpoints is how spirit was calling it these are checkpoints in the astral of particular frequencies and these checkpoints are like gateways or spawning points like in a game when you spawn into a game it's like there's specific points where you spawn into that game on that map Okay, and that map is the astral. You have specific checkpoints or spawning points in the astral that your guides open for you that you pop out in and you start moving through and down. And these are in particular frequencies that can be uh, very enlightening or hold very important information in um, to weave entire energy together. So these checkpoints, as you move through these leading thoughts one to another, these are the checkpoints of information that you, as you move through, you're connecting together. So you're connecting checkpoints of information together that create the pathway in the astral to move through or that you unlock within the subconscious collective astral through doing it in yourself, okay? As you make these thought connections together inside yourself, you're clearing that space in the collective astral for others to also have 
activated and moved down and to have cleared or to be spoken out. So this is either inner energetically for the 5D, the higher selves back there in their own subconscious, or this is in person um, and you're clearing and presenting certain checkpoints of connection of thought to others that they do not have connected prior. So you're creating new actual pathways of thought in other people because the way that you connect information or reflectional tr uh, travels of thought together is very unique and specific to you and actually assisted by your guides. And these connections you're making through trials of thought are weaving together connected frameworks of understanding, meaning, reflection and information. And so these are highly beneficial for the people around you and it's one of your roles here as the mirror bearer is that you have deeper access to the subconscious and you're energetically weaving together new pathways within that subconscious all the time and when you share those you also get to pass that package of energy of of connection of pathway to another person as well and that is really really helpful and there could be someone that you know, you've done you've done this with so many people, again, consciously or unconsciously. And it's one of the ways that you really help to create this continuation of expansion within other people's minds and consciousness. You actually help to expand other people's consciousness. The people that you're connected to um, and that are close to you who you love their consciousness is expanded so much just through connecting with you. And I feel like you expand your co uh, consciousness through connecting with others as well. Because again, when you connect with others, you might get certain uh, thoughts or realizations you don't normally have because you're actually uh, doing this connecting work, not only for yourself, but others too. So their guides are gonna give you checkpoints to speak upon that are channeled and through connecting with their energy, doing work for them in their subconscious to expand new pathways for them, you're also actually helping expand new pathways for yourself. Again, this really highly reminds me if any of you are like tarot readers, or maybe that's something that you've been called to uh, a few times, maybe just personally, or to share with that, because that really reminds me of that. When you're weaving together pathways of connection through a reading, let's say, um, and it's for somebody else, but then it actually opens new connection they will pathways for yourself as well. We are all always learning, evolving and expanding through one another. And it's always like a six of pentacles type of energy, a giving and receiving beneficial for both sides. So this feels like you have some spiritual contracts or work with some soul tribe who you're both incarnated to help expand and create new pathways of thought and expansion to consciousness inside yourself through one another. So this is like mutually beneficial, it's mutually growing, it's mutually blooming one another, right? This could be on about a specific connection or someone that's recently moved into your reality or someone that's been in your reality for a while that you consider soul tribe. Um, or this could, energy that's coming up could be relevant because it maybe it's about to be amplified. This fact of spiritual growth through connection or through other people. Again, we spoke about this, your guides guiding you to certain videos, certain readings, certain books and information that are also creating new pathways and trails of thought and expansion within your subconscious. Um, this is like, again, using that vessel of expanding and creating new pathways. We can do this in so many ways. And how it's being highlighted that might be quite relevant soon is through other people or other people expanding through you. Okay, so take however this resonates. This is something you've already been doing, but it's about to be highlighted or it's coming up to be more prevalent to be acknowledged because maybe you're having deeper realizations on how on the abilities you have and the purposes you have in a way of the power you have to create healing within yourself and through that creating expansion and healing through others through doing it for yourself if that makes sense so so yeah right so you have some gateways to some very important frequency spaces within the mind and astral these woven frameworks of connected understanding and information um, they are we've woven together to set trails you have, like we said, like on a hike and you're like the tour guide of this hike. It's like, hey, I've just created a new trail. Let me walk you down it almost in this analogy of type of way. 
um, and through this forest of the collective mind, there's really no set paths. There's ones that have already been walked. There's ones that we've created ourselves or we can create a new one together. But in general, in a forest, there are no paths. We can go any which way direction. We can move through any tree to tree. We can move any way and there is no right or wrong way. It's all the forest, but every way that we walk, we're gonna have a different experience and see different things along that trail. They expand and trigger and open our mind in different ways. So you're like almost like this traveler or forest explorer. You're like this forest explorer who's creating these trails and when people enter this deep forest inside themselves you're like hey i already have this trail we can go down let me show you this and then they might be like oh i walked down this trail the other day and show you that trail and then your trails might connect together in some type of way this is really connecting with people in a deeper way beneath the surface because this is connection of energy and the minds and the astral planes of space so it's almost like this bouncing and weaving and growth that can happen in the astral space. This can happen as well, not just in person connecting, but when you're channeling with someone's higher self, you can also have these bouncing thought connections of reflection that happen with your spirit guides or other people's higher selves that you're connected with. And you can do higher self work with others within your mind in this way. When you're walking through these trails in the astral space in the forest, you could also be walking through that space with another uh, person's higher self or spirit form or energy form. And, you know, you're making these thought connections together, assisting and helping one another in a, in a less conscious way, in a more subconscious way, an unconscious way that we might not always actually realize or remember or connect together. And whoever is the soul tribe in this life or there's someone you can tell you guys can actually differentiate between different connections and people that you meet and i think you can tell instantly when someone is soul tribe or not um because you just can you have a great intuition and i think the people that you have soul tribe with they feel so familiar and such a draw to them and magnetize energy around them and like understanding and familiarity about them because you have already walked through the astral with them you have already connected with their energy mentally in ways even if you've never met them before or they're just someone that you've met in the astral space and then become connected with in the physical space in some way Right, but you're doing a lot of this uh, work with others. So when we talk about earlier, you connecting with someone, let's say you're sat in a room having a conversation with someone and you're unlocking each other's brains in new thought pathway connection and bouncing uh, together. This happens also with higher selves and 5D energy bodies. And so in some of these realizations and reflections you're going down, uh, some of them are with your guides. Some of them maybe might be in solitude or in solace of your energy but a lot of them are actually in this same way implied as if you're in a room bouncing a conversation with someone <clears throat> but doing it in the astral and sometimes when you speak to these people when you reconnect with them or when you connect with them you'll have certain conversations that's like oh my god yes and it's like you agree on points or you have the same astral loops open because you have already actually traveled there together in some ways so this again links into the point that you guys are a spirit guide to your soul tribe and your soul tribe is a spirit guide to you and you're always doing higher 5D work with them mentally that creates big changes internally and expansions of consciousness internally um, and that again will go and ripple into affecting your physical, how you show up in your physical and things like this. So it's almost like you're doing this inner work with your guides but also with certain soul tribe incarnated and you could be specifically being guided to people who are creating these new thought pathways of connection for you or that you're creating for others, right? So, um, yeah, so when you're mentally walking through the astral, there is this receipt trail that is spoken out loud, okay? So that in another way, we're saying like where you're sitting in the astral, um, what you speak out, <clears throat> when you're kind of pulling and connecting the two energies so you're speaking to me right now I'm speaking to you but I'm speaking from a place I'm sitting in my astral and as I move through that space energetically I'm going to say certain things and the things that I'm saying are the checkpoints of energy and they are the receipt energy trail of where I'm moving in through my astral so our words are like a receipt trail 
um, of where we're kind of moving through astrally um, through these thoughts and checkpoints and then in this way we get to move through the astral together and be connected at a deeper level beyond the surface right so you can then move these from these checkpoints onto the next and this weaves energy trails together like we say or pathways together so these connecting points you think through when spoken aloud is allowing those around you to also look into those checkpoints wherever you're sat in that frequency you guys are multi-dimensional beings meaning you have unlocked and opened many other planes of frequency these planes of frequency all hold a framework of understanding of life reality and consciousness and the world in general they all hold information and beliefs that back up that framework and that framework is going to be correlated to that vibrational frequency you have multiple multiple and many different layers of vibration and framework open to you in the astral and so this is why it is so helpful for others because you speaking aloud when on these trails is actually allowing them a gateway to access that frequency of vibration through you and so you're allowing others to access new frequencies or mental frameworks through you being connected to them within yourself and pulling through them through yourself and so I feel like something that just came through as well is authenticity when we're authentic showing up authentically in our reality we're going to speak authentically from the frequencies we're holding and how that is so beautiful and important because you hold unique frequencies that allow others to access that um, where maybe they couldn't get to that point themselves and the same happens the other way around you know guys but um why this is important is because of that um and how there was a message coming through wait it's a bit abstract but it's kind of like when we censor ourselves we also close the door for others to enter those gateways of frequency and sometimes we can censor ourselves through fears of judgment or fears of you know unsafety or protection of the self so you are this mirror bearer and holder not everyone actually gets to enter certain frequencies that you are the gatekeeper of because if someone makes your energy feel unsafe you're not going to feel safe to open up these gateways in the astral to them and so there's only specific people who actually are allowed access to these vibrational planes through you you are a divine gateway to the astral space and subconscious mind but there are particular people who get to access that gateway and um, who you can show up as that gateway for. And there's others who it's like this gateway will be closed. It's almost reminding me of that Harry Potter book when certain people open it and the pages are all blank. And then certain people open it and all the writing starts being seen by them. There's only specific people that get to have this experience of the astral planes through you. Because there's only certain people who you actually feel safe energetically to have this astral space open to and pull from and connect with through them so i feel as if it's the people who are already connected to their own astral space that you feel safe to do this with or that you uh these these the astral space kind of starts appearing and these connections start popping up other than that there's almost this resistance of frequency of energy and that resistance creates that um tightness and it doesn't allow these gateways to open so if someone's frequency causes resistance in yourself it closes off these gateways within you and they can't access them through you and you maybe not won't be able to access them in their presence either and it's almost like this cloaking energy and it's like very specific people will get to have this through you because it's only specific people you're divined to have this connection or interaction with not every person and that's why maybe these people who this happens with they feel like soul tribe because they connect with you at a much deeper level but these are people who again that are meant to be spiritually divined in your path for a reason and the ones who they don't open up with that was maybe for a different role or purpose in your spiritual journey maybe they were more of an activator or a triggerer rather than a spiritually uh expansive connection right where you expand through and heal through one another so something like that so um 
So yeah, you can open up your astral space to, space to others and none of these are, are random. They're all these beautiful checkpoints of frequency that are gateways uh, that you hold within you. They're activated by your guides that you can channel from. These woven frameworks of connected understanding and information. Um, and yeah, so these are packages of energy that are mirror packages because they're packages of energetic reflection. These are called mirror packages because they're packages of uh, woven energy that have been created in reflection, okay? Reflection and mirrors being that thing. I also keep seeing that card in my head from, I think it's like, a, what, the energy oracle or something. And it's called the magician in the mirror. And it's this magician in front of a mirror holding like a blue flame and a red flame. And he's in front of a mirror. And, oh, that's so interesting. It's like the blue pill, the red pill. Some people are already choosing the red pill. And so there's a frameworks won't be open inside of you when you're connecting with people like that. But sometimes people are creating this frequency where you can disperse this blue flame energy and this blue flame energy of like truth, clarity, expansion and communication. Communication seems to be so pre prevalent in this that you are the magician and the mirror. You are the mirror. You are the magician. So, um, yeah, like we say, these are deeper unlocked pathways in the subconscious you're creating all the time. You are reflecting within your subconscious a lot because of your brain frequencies. Um, you know, you're able to access certain brainwave states instantaneously, like daydream. Daydream is kind of like these theta brainwave frequencies, almost like when we're in REM stage of sleep in the dream space. So you're connecting to the astral in waking through your brainwave states and you can enter these instantaneously. Um, you can flick into daydream or reflection straight away. And that is actually you entering the bubbling channel thought space of the astral. You guys channel extremely easily. You don't have to tra uh, strain. You don't have to try. And sometimes it's conditioned within society. If we do not strain or try or feel like well, there's some type of draining to our energy, we don't feel like we've tried hard enough, meaning we've not done something to the best of our abilities, meaning it must not have been done properly. This is not the case. The things that you're gifted at come effortlessly to you. You guys channel effortlessly. You don't need to drain yourself it doesn't need to feel like a strain to feel like that information is more prevalent or accurate you guys naturally bubble through and enter this channeling space within the astral because you're always in it on your reflections anyway whether it seems random irrelevant or mundane to you the things that seem mundane to you are very significant actually to other people sometimes it's just that you're familiar with those trails of thought and have them and are so close to them that they seem maybe irrelevant sometimes, but the information you're holding is highly valuable. And maybe that's something someone needed to hear is that the information you hold is highly valuable, even if it seems less potent or less valuable to you, that's just because you're familiar with it because you always have access and are open to that. But not everyone has access to these thought pathways or energy packages of reflection that you do. So your reflections, your bubbling thoughts or reflection, they are powerful packages of framework of information that you are connecting to through certain frequencies. Very, very significant. Okay, you're connected to the collective astral space um, and you bring light and illumination like the moon card to the subconscious of the collective. You have access to this collective astral space within the conscious through yourself and it's really helpful at giving people an open door to their subconscious through you. Um, and these can also be seemingly mundane or random bubbles of thought to you, but it's much deeper and through yourself are helping others access deeper parts of themselves through you traveling there internally through yourself. We are all mirrors and we can look deeper into ourselves when looking deeper into another. And again, that's what I say. I feel like you guys do. You divinate and you see and peer deeper into your own subconscious through uh, seeing deeper and through others um, subconscious too and what they're reflecting back to you. So you're a powerful doorway and gateway you're, uh, in yourself to the subconscious and astral spaces and it's very healing to connect with you for this reason. 
So that is the information we have coming through for this reading, beautiful souls. I hope that that brought some confirmation for you or yeah, confirmation in any way, shape or form and validation and uh, encouragement to that part of yourself, of your intuition that knows that you have very valuable perspectives and information, that you hold value within yourself, that your gifts are effortless and you don't need to strain or try, that the, the knowledge you hold is effortless and it's so priceless and helpful to those around you even when you don't get that confirmation or acknowledgement the way that your brain works and connects energies and thoughts together is very unique and special to you and that is why you are this open doorway and this bridge of connection from this physical and the conscious mind to the subconscious and astral energetic planes i love you so much and i will speak to you all soon beautiful earth angels Mwah.